We want to focus your attention now on a crime trend that has gotten so out of control, it is forcing some retailers to close their doors. Shoplifting and organized retail crime rising from coast to coast, and many of these crimes have been caught on camera, adding up to billions of dollars in retail losses every year. News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin, live for us in New York, one of the retail capitals of the world tonight. Tom. And you said it, Marnie, you know, close their doors or just turn a blind eye to it for as long as they can, at least. These crimes are becoming so brazen, so ubiquitous that in many cases, retail workers are being told that if they see one happening, just to let it happen. Shocked, Walgreens customers can only watch as a man on a bike fills a garbage bag with merchandise and rides right out the door. It's like an epidemic sweeping the country. Regular smash and grabs on Chicago's Magnificent Mile. Soho in New York. Throwing everything into his backpack, going from shelf to shelf, filling up. Diane Crawford watched it happen at a Manhattan drugstore and says staff were told not to interfere. She said, we have been informed that we are not allowed to stop them. Even with retailers keeping more items under lock and key, it adds up to billions in losses every year. The National Retail Federation reports 61.7 billion in 2019, up from 50.6 the year before, mostly because of shoplifting. We don't have data for 2020 yet, but experts predict pandemic desperation will bring another double digit increase. And I remember standing in one of those Walgreens stores watching a, uh, a just a, a consumer walk in, pick up several things off the shelf and start to walk toward the door. And I told the guy, I said, you know, that's, that's theft. You need to go ring up with the, with the cashier. And he looked at me and goes, so? And walks out. And so that's no, not a consumer, actually, Jeff. You're being polite. I am being polite. Jeff's a polite guy, but he's also very, very frustrated by this. As many loss prevention experts are, they say in many jurisdictions, the consequences just aren't serious enough, and they say the criminals know it. Walgreens says out-of-control shoplifting in San Francisco was a direct contributing factor in its decision to close 17 stores in that city in just five years, Marty.